Hello everyone, my name is Donal and I want to help you build better apps. In this little mini series, what we're going to do is take a look at the Yandex Translate component. Now, if you're not aware, Yandex is a search engine just like Google or Bing, and they provide a variety of other services. One of these then is the Translate service. So for instance, uh, this looks pretty familiar to most people, I'd say we could put in a little message here, if we could spell it correctly, uh, hello world, like this and what it'll do is translate it into whatever language you want. So I don't speak any Russian, but uh, let's try something like this. So if we say hello world in French, it'll translate as bonjour tout le monde. Uh, we can put in any phrase that we want and it'll give us a pretty rough, pretty good uh, translation then. This is the first time in these series anyway that we've seen APIs. So uh, if we focus here on the top on the query at the uh, search bar here, you can see the first thing we do is we look for a language, so it goes from English to French in this case, and then we also send it a piece of text, so hello world. So if I were to uh, translate that then to uh, people, for example, uh, what it would do then is bonjour les gens. Um, and that's essentially how an API works. It allows us to interface, it's an application programming interface, it allows us to interface with somebody else's app. So we can send things like languages, like strings, or whatever. So we could change this maybe to um, Spanish and get it to uh, translate into Spanish as well for us. Okay, so all you need to do is get signed into Thunkable and uh, create a very simple UI. Let's get started. Okay, so in our app, all I've done is added in a label to display or to output our translations. And at the bottom of my screen, I've got a little input bar. So I've got a text box beside a button here. The button just says translate. So obviously what we want to do on our blocks is when we click translate, we want to take whatever text is written in here, send it off to Yandex, and then have Yandex return a translation to us. In order to use Yandex then, we need to go into the media uh, folder here in our palette, drag and drop in the Yandex uh, component, and that appears as a non-visible component because it's running in the background. So by default, Thunkable allows you to use their key, but if you build, if you end up building an app that becomes quite popular, what you might want to do is sign up for your own account. Um, if you click on the link here, on the little question mark here, you can get more information about using this API at api.yandex.com forward slash translate. Okay, so let's go take a look at the blocks. Over in our blocks editor then, what we want to do is have the button click event start everything for us. And what that's going to do is take the text out of the text box. So we want to get our text here, like that. And we're going to send that text to Yandex. So we're going to go Yandex request translation and our whatever the user types in is going to be our text to translate. And just for version one of this app, we're going to specify that we would like the um, Yandex API to translate into French. So as we saw earlier, uh, French is F4. What I'll do at the end of the video is give you a list of all of these country codes and you can translate into whatever language you like. So Yandex has um, over a hundred different languages you can you can use. The main thing to remember is that um, it expects these codes to be a lowercase. So for example, if you used F4 like that, you'll get an error in your app. But let's leave it as F4 for the moment. Then Yandex translation, uh, eventually, uh, it might take a few milliseconds, it might take a few hundred milliseconds, but eventually it'll send us back uh, some translation. And all I want to do here is display this in my label as a piece of text. And so version one of our app anyway, at least, uh, is ready now for testing. Okay, so over here in our live testing, we can see we've no translations yet. We've got our hint set to type text here at the bottom of the screen. I'll just go for hello world, hello world, like this. And when I click translate, when I click the button, hopefully then Yandex will send me back bonjour tout le monde. So we've got a very simple proof of concept here. As you can see at the bottom, um, it leaves the text in here. One nice thing we can do for the user experience then 
is uh, remove that text from the bottom of the screen. So as soon as we ask for a translation, we can clear out the text box by sending it to be an empty string like this. Let's try it out again. So over in live test now, if I type in something different, slightly different message, uh, hello yourself, let's say for instance, uh, if I click on the translate button then, uh, we can see that it uh, removes the text from the bottom of the screen and displays the translation here on the top. Okay, so that's just a very quick introduction to using um, APIs, let's say specifically the Yandex Translate API. We can send off a string and a language and we can get back a translation from the Yandex Translation app. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions then please leave them in the comments below and if you like this video, if you found it useful, uh, don't forget to share it then uh, with your friends. Thanks a million for watching. I see you in the next video.